A body of a woman was on Monday recovered in the thicket of the vast Shakahola forest during the search and rescue operation by the police. Police officers are still stumbling upon dead body strews in the forest after the exhumation exercise was stopped to pave the way for post mortem. The death toll has now hit 242. Another victim was also rescued on Monday, bringing the number to 93. Police have also carried out 79 autopsies in three days out of 129 that had been scheduled. Last week alone, five skeletons of people believed to be the followers who died and decomposed were recovered from the forest. So far, post-mortem is still going on and is expected to be complete on Wednesday this week so that the team embarks on the third phase of exhumation. On Monday, the detectives and pathologists conducting post-mortem managed to do 34 autopsies of bodies exhumed from Shakahola. Speaking during the daily briefings at the Malindi Sub County Hospital, Chief Government Pathologist Johansen Odwar said the bodies comprised 21 females and 10 males, while for three bodies, sex or gender could not be determined because they were badly decomposed. Odwar said the team found that 32 of the bodies were severely decomposed, while two of them were moderately decomposed. The pathologist said they found that being that many were very badly decomposed, they were unable to get the cause of death in 22 of them, while in 12 of them, they found features which look like of starvation. The exercise is likely to end this week so that the phase 3 of the exhumation to resume.